In the past year, Minnesota has lost about 120,000 jobs. And there's still no agreement on how to erase a projected $4.6 billion budget deficit. Whoever succeeds Tim Pawlenty as governor could be facing an even bigger budget gap. Previous generations of Minnesotans and other Americans face graver dangers than we do today. They summon their collective knowledge, courage, and resolve. They persevered and they prevailed by working together. All of us want and need a state that works better than today. A better Minnesota for all of us depends upon all of us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. And it's dependent on a governor making tough decisions, demanding results, and believing that tomorrow can be better than today. Together, we've worked hard. And now, Minnesota is rising to the challenge and getting back on track. Governor Mark Dayton announced a new jobs growth incentive today. He succeeded again. Minnesota businesses are growing faster than at any point since the recession. An improving economy with smarter government and less red tape. Working for greater equality. Making the tough decisions to balance the budget, turning deficits to a surplus. The state's economic forecast is out and it shows Minnesota with a projected budget surplus of $1 billion. Tax fairness for the middle class while protecting taxpayers. Paying back our schools while investing in Minnesota's future. Early childhood programs are getting a big boost thanks to the new state budget. Schools across the state now have the option to provide all day kindergarten at no additional cost to the district. Well, Minnesota's fourth graders scored at the top nationally in math and above the national average in reading. There's much more to do to improve our schools and rebuild the middle class. But for the first time in years, Minnesota is rising stronger and better than before with the hard work of our people and the dedication of a governor building a better Minnesota.